Okay, welcome to another edition of How to Train Your Cat. You guys all know Chester. Well, this is a new edition, Semper. He's uh, only been training about two weeks, and uh, you'll see what we can do. So Chester's not a one-trick pony. So uh, Chester's pretty, I mean, uh, Semper's pretty attentive, as you can see. And again, about two weeks ago, he didn't know how to do anything, and now he does. So uh, he does many of the same tricks that Chester does. Give me a paw. Here we go. Give me a paw. There we go. Remember, we have to feed him every time when we train him. So if you want him to train, uh, shake hands. Uh, what we do is you grab a paw and you say, give me a paw, and you give him a little snack. And then you say, give me a paw, and then you give him a little snack. That's real interesting. Semper is left-handed. <laughs> and See, he pulls up his left hand, paw. Ch uh, Chester's right-handed. Okay, so um, how we basically say, make him uh, behave uh, is we just say, Give me a paw and you give him a little bit of food, okay? If he's standing up, you push down and you push uh, sit and you give him a little food. So he does the same chair jumps that uh, Chester does. Come across. Boom, boom, boom. Sit, 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 sit. If he won't sit, then you push him down, then you feed him. Make sure you give him an audio clue. Sit. Good, okay. Come on across. Go. Go. how he does it. Now I'm trying to make him uh, get down, you know, he gets down, lays down a little bit. Uh, and the same sort of thing. See, he's, he's ready to go this morning. Same sort of thing. You kind of say, down, down, you know, down, and you push him down, like that, push him down, down, and you feed him, a little bite, not much. Can you make him stand up? Give me a paw. Okay. Down, 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 and he'll get it, eventually get it. But like I said, he hops over the chairs, okay. Now I'm gonna show you another trick that he does. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, jump over the Grand Canyon Clipper. You can basically make him go wherever you want, stamp your fingers and he gets up every time he does that and you give him a little piece of food, okay. Now you, he'll basically jump wherever. So this is a couch, this is a couch. And the way you make him jump is you pull him over here, like that, and then you feed him. And you repeat that over and over, and pretty soon, he figures it out. See? Get over here. I know, you can get big, you gotta do it twice. One more time. One more time. One more time. There you go. See? Now I'm trying to make him jump on my shoulder. Give me a pop. And the way we're trying to do that, everybody's always curious how you make them do that. Basically put your shoulder way down here, right? And we put it up here, and then you move him here, and then you feed him. I usually feed him on this side. This way. And you put him back down again. And you get your shoulder real close, and you get up here. Come on. And then you put him up here, and it's about... 75 times, 200 times. This one's a little bit harder. So there you go, that's how you train him. Semper is uh, training all of like I said, he's only been two weeks and he's already, give me a hand, give me a paw, give me a paw. All right, come across. One more time. Shh. Come across. Shh. He wants to be fed, come across. Let's go. There you go. All right, down. Okay, they are, ow, they are fun. Uh, Mark Cunaberti, that's my YouTube channel, check it out. We got tr uh, training cat videos, and videos on nonprofits and everything else. So I'm glad to have you on our channel. See you around. Roll over, roll over.